This is Betty Hughes for CDX Technologies, and we'd like to show you a special function in Microsoft Excel that will calculate driving distance or driving time between two or more addresses. First, we're going to right-click on any cell, and from the drop-down menus, click on a function called CDX Root MP. This brings up a box where we can input two addresses. They can be specific street addresses like this, or you can input a more general location, such as a zip code. For this case, we'll select a route that represents the shortest distance between these two addresses. And we'll also specify that the result sent back to the worksheet will be the driving distance for this route in miles. Then click OK, and the result back in the original cell is 206 miles. This is the calculated distance of the shortest route. In the formula bar, we can see that the cell contains an equation with the CDX root MP function. This is like other functions in Excel you may have used before, like average or sum. But in this case, we have the name of the function, and that's followed by a few input parameters. The first number here, 1, means that we've selected the shortest route. The second number, 0, means the result sent back to the worksheet will be the distance of the route in miles. And then that's followed by our two addresses. Now this kind of calculation can be performed by web-based mapping programs like Yahoo or Google Maps. But the big advantage of doing this in Excel is that we can pretty easily apply this to lots of addresses listed in a worksheet. So let's take a look at an example. Here we want to calculate driving distance between addresses in column A and addresses in column B. So let's go to this first cell here and input the function CDX root MP, followed by 1 for the shortest route, 0 for calculating the distance of the route in miles, and then for the addresses, we're going to use their cell locations. The first address is in cell A2, and the second address is in cell B2. Hit enter, and the driving distance for the first pair of addresses is 14 miles. To calculate driving time, we would input the same equation with the CDX root MP function, but we would need to change the second parameter from a 0 to a 2. That's then followed by the two addresses in cells A2 and B2, and the calculated driving time here is 34 minutes. Now all we have to do is copy these formulas and paste them along the list. Here's a quick tip for doing this. We just select the first two cells and place the cursor at the bottom right-hand corner until we see a cross like this, and then just double-click. The formulas are automatically copied along the list until the empty row at the end. And you can see the calculated distance and time being returned here for each pair of addresses. Let's look at another case with a delivery route. It starts and ends at the same location with a number of stops along the way. We can calculate driving distance by listing all the addresses of the route in the equation, like this. We can also compare delivery routes by changing the order of the stops, as you can see in these other cases. Then all we have to do is copy and paste to compare driving distance. And it looks like the third case is the best delivery route, based on it having the shortest driving distance of 44 miles. So these are just a few examples where we can calculate driving distance and driving time using the CDX root MP function in Microsoft Excel. If you'd like more information or would like to download a free demo, please visit www.cdxzipstream.com.